Hey folks, Brad Miller with you, uh, playbass.com, playbass.biz. I have to show you something here. We're getting a new supply of these blackhead poppers in here that some of you are familiar with. Now, the ones that we've been selling come with a pre-punched hole. Um, and the reason that they have a hole in them is because they actually mount them on a, on a spindle uh, when they shape them. So they have to drill a hole through them to get the shape that they want. They've figured out a way to make these things now without a hole in them. And so it's sort of a bad news, good news thing. The bad news is um, a lot of folks kind of like the, these holes bored in there because they're relatively straight. But sometimes there is variation between the actual height here. Sometimes they're a little high, sometimes they're a little low. So I'm going to show you um, um, how to punch a hole in by yourself because the new blockheads that we're going to be getting will not have the pre-punched hole okay so here's a here's a new one right here and you can see there's no hole punched in here what I've been using to punch a hole in here is simply a paper clip uh, that I've opened up and this one happens to have some some kind of ribs on it if you can find one like that it helps a little bit but a paper clip actually does a fairly good job and you can actually take a paper clip you could actually use something like a uh, um, some kind of a bobbin mechanism like this as well this one happens to be kind of a punch a hook for pulling the thread through a, a bobbin too so um, uh, whatever type of a of a instrument that you decide to use or make or whatever here's the key when you start these things upside down you just make sure that you you start the hole right where you want to start that hole and I usually start it about an eighth of an inch at the very most um, up okay so you start it right there and just just start it in like that now here's the key we're gonna turn this thing and get it get it in the the plane going this way now and this is a, this is really important so we've got it going in the proper plane and the only way I can describe this to you to make it go true and come out the center is that when you push this thing up you want to you want to turn the put a little bit of pressure away from you as you're driving that thing up in there and if you do it away from you a little bit for some reason it comes out nice and true right in the middle okay and you get yourself a nice hole if you're driving it up through it and you don't put any pressure um, I'm kind of pulling away pulling away from it this way a little bit and that for some reason counteracts what the normal um, direction would be and the normal direction is would actually bring it up over this way so when I bring it up I pull it back and when I do that the whole the whole punches and it comes out true once you get the hang of it might you might take you one or two of them to get the feel for it and you can repunch it if you don't get it straight you can repunch the hole it's no big deal um, but this way you can make sure that you've got the hole exactly where you want it now some of you might want it up a little bit higher to dig some of you might want it a little bit lower uh, depending on how you want that popper to ride so it does open up the potential for you to kind of set your own uh, hole and that kind of thing. So that's all it is. You can make yourself a tool or you can use uh, a bobbin tool that you might have handy online and, and, and just run that up through there. And this is a pretty good size instrument to use too. Um, it makes a nice hole and the hole's not too big for most of the hooks that you're going to be using for this. So that's all there is to it. See you later.